Well, good day to you folks. Uh, coming to you from the other farm at Mount Nebo. I'm gonna do a prig check on a young heifer here. Um, I had three of them pinned up. You can see the other one behind me there. She's uh, getting a little excited, but anyway, the other one escaped with all the cows. I'll get her back in here in a minute. But these three are the youngest. There's that one, which is called Mandy, is uh, Sandy's daughter. Then this in here, she's probably the youngest of all. And uh, I've done a few of these. Not a whole, whole lot of them. But uh, anyway, bear with me here just a second. Like I said, not a whole, whole lot of them, but I've done a few and been successful at it. So first of all, we're going to put this bar right there so she can't kick us back. It's just a handle off of a shovel is all it is. But uh, anyway, maybe a little graphic to some viewers. So, um, well, they say parental discretion is advised. <laughs> maybe to some of you that's watching by, by phone. i got to take my sweatshirt off. Make it a little easier on the calves. And uh, here I'm gonna put a glove on. Bear with me just a second. Put this glove, actually it's called a sleeve. And what I'll do, as you see here, let me turn this back around. I even got my hat off. But uh, anyway, it's just a glove. And uh, we're gonna take some lubricant. here in this bottle and this is gonna be really hard to do with the phone but as I said you bear with us we're gonna lube up our hand real good and uh, just with some of that lube like I said you bear with us today parental discretion is advised once again as I watched this and watch people do it uh, you just uh, lube up the anus best you can and then start off with with your hand kind of cupped and this don't hurt the cows not at all you gotta sometimes scrape a little bit of poo out of there go back up in again and get a little bit more poo nothing nothing harmful to the calf nothing at all just about all right, it takes a little time. Uh, there we go. And we are in. And I do not feel a calf. Nowhere inside. There's her uterus. And her ovaries. So this cow, this heifer, is not ready to calve. So I'm gonna have to put her back with a bull. See, there wasn't no holler, no squalling, no squibbing, nothing like that. So um, anyway, we got this other one over here to do. Check her. Really hoping that this one was have also this spring it doesn't look like it's gonna happen and I'm throwing this glove here away and we're just gonna go around here and release this chute just like this it kind of just opens the squeeze up on her and then we're going to open up the front door Just as so, this uh, cattle master, it's, it's a pretty good operation. All right, girl, come on out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Pretty good operation. This, like I said, I got just me doing this stuff, so that's why I lost one of the heifers. See there, she's, she's in good shape, other than that she's not pregnant. 
So I'm I seen her. That's the reason why I wanted to check her and this other one. I seen them um, <laughs> riding another cow there the other day. So anyway, I done that exactly what uh, what the um, YouTube video showed me to do, and it works. Like I said, that's not the first one I've done, and I'm sure it won't be the last. So my brother, I go to church with. Um, Brother Bob, he's wanting me to help him to do his also. So, anyway, I'm gonna do this other one, and uh, hoping maybe you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, comments, uh, you want to subscribe, we appreciate it. From now, as always, we give thanks to God for life, the abundance of life, what He's done, what He's doing, and just ask you to keep looking up, keep us in prayer, and may God bless you in all that you do when you do it for Him.